guys, do you remember that chibi drawing tutorial? Well, today we're going to take these blue lines into ink and we're gonna do that using a favorite inking toy of mine, the Kuratake Furego Koji. So if you're interested in inking, if you're interested in cute art, and if you are maybe interested in comics, you should head on over to natosoup.blogspot.com for loads more inking and comic resources. So I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys right up there in close with the action. And for those of you not familiar with the Fudego Koji, I have several videos demonstrating this little marvel. But the short answer is it is a very fine tip brush pen. It is capable of very fine lines and very, or fairly, for its size, fairly thick lines. It is not pronounced food pen, as I've heard some people say. It is fude pen. And in Japan, it's typically used for like signing your name on things. But here in the US or in Western countries, it is becoming a popular inking implement. So I'm going to start off with delicately inking these flowers. And if I make a mistake, I'm just going to grab my Signo white gel pen, which is one of the best opaque white gel pens I have ever encountered. But I'm going to let my ink dry first. But once the ink is dried, I'm going to grab my Signo white gel pen and just go ahead and correct my mistakes. I'm not really concerned with the non-photo blue because I'm going to drop that using Photoshop. And if you're curious how I'm gonna do that, I really recommend you head on over to natosoup.blogspot.com where I have quite a few good tutorials on how to do just that. So I'm going to go around and ink all the flowers in her flower crown and flowers, especially roses like these are fun because you can sort of just get loose and noodly with your line art and with your line width and it'll still look pretty good. Go ahead and zoom in super close so you guys can see that. And when you're inking on top of a waxy sort of surface, like the non-photo blue color, you know, lead that I used here, it's going to create a bit of a resist. So the ink is going to take a little bit longer to dry than it would on regular paper. So you want to be careful about where you put your hand down. All right, I have the basis of that flower crown inked. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate making corrections with a white Signo gel pen. And you can use this to go over any place where it may have overlapped or any area where the line art might be a little thick for your liking. You can also use this to add highlights. In areas that have sort of become overworked or might be dark. So when I'm inking, regardless of whether I'm inking a more detailed illustration or a cute little convention chibi, I always try to work from the, the layer that would be closest or the topmost layer, so in this case the flower crown, um, and then work my way back. So I start with the objects that have the least amount of overlap and work my way to the objects with the most amount of overlap. And 
even if you notice a mistake right away, you want to give the ink a chance to dry because if you try to apply the white signal on top of it prematurely, it will really just reactivate the ink and make a gray mess on your paper. Which is much harder to correct than if you had just been patient. So see my line got just a little bit wobbly there. I can either go over it again or I can opt to try and correct it with the signal. Going over it did seem like the easiest option. And if you want a thicker line from your Fude pen, just bear down a bit harder. Alright, so now that you guys have a basic idea of how that's done, I'm going to go ahead and ink the second one entirely in time-lapse for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you found it useful. I hope you found it informative. If you did, let me know in the comments below or you can thank me by leaving a like. If you enjoy these sort of videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I update with this sort of cuteness twice a week, every week. And if you like my art, please do me a huge favor and check out my adorable webcomic, Seven Inch Kara. It follows the adventures of diminutive little Kara, who's only seven inches tall, as she explores the outside world and discovers that humans are more than just the stuff of myths. If that sounds good to you, you can head on over to seveninchkara.tumblr.com or seveninchkara.com to read it for free, or you can read the first four chapters plus a bonus story by picking it up through natosoup.com slash Kara hyphen comic. I have to think about that because we just switched URLs. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you again really soon. Bye.